Hello everyone. I'm going to commentate on the elimination match between Clash Royale 12345 Tom Merrill 949 and Rupnalak and Cha Cha Real Smooth. The current match score is 1 to 1. They're playing Sicilian Caracan. We got seven spectators. Ooh, Clash uh, Queen G or Bishop G3 is actually the uh, Terminator engine move for this opening. And here D7 is the book move for this Tanvera Rezax Knight opening. And we have almost double digit spectators now. Looking at L8. Ooh, a night move. Looking at just getting the bishop to be eight, which is a move often played by, or bishop b7, sorry, a move often played by Valger. That knight opening is atypical in this kind of opening. Um, funny idea, I think this queen could, I, this square and this one could be played. Queen takes, queen takes, and you got a skewer. Pin, I mean. This queen would move over before the, the green got in the way. I don't like this move right here. Blocking the queen from having control of this. Um, but what we see now is some development by blue. Protecting that pawn. Uh, Bishop h2, shielding against this kind of check threat. Uh, hmm. Um, after this move, we have queen here. So I wouldn't play it. Queen i5, one of my favorites. Moving the queen to the opposite side of the board. Knight i12, one of Icy Stun's favorites, protecting h14 and g13. Oh, Cha Cha Real Smooth actually is arrowing Rup Nalak on a lot of these moves. Oh. If I'm Tom, I'm moving my queen to i5 immediately. He's got it. He could even take here if he wants. Now, if this pawn pushes here, then what I want to see is a pawn capture allowing the knight to be taken so that you can further develop your pieces. Allowing blue to slow down on his development and attack green. So I think you just on passant allow him to take your knight and look like he's opening the file for the red brick or blue rook. Don't worry about your knight, it's not so important. I think you take yes. Clash is thinking what I'm thinking, especially during that game that I played against Icy Stun and Valger. And this queen right here is well placed, it now protects this and it attacks this and it uh, looks like it will access that at some point, but you know obviously this queen is still here. I like how Tom and Clash are playing this opening. Um, bishop here is possible now. I, I think it was a little too early to put that queen back there. I, this queen was well placed. I think it would have been better to put the queen here, in fact, to keep this pawn protected. Ooh. Yeah, I think after on passant, and I think that's going to be discussed, is why blue-green might actually have a significant disadvantage in this game.
Oh, nice. I like their idea. Take and then check and then you pin the queen somehow. Oh, double check. Oh, that's a good one. I think I like it. I think I like it. Even if the knight makes a check on, on yellow. I think it works. I think you take the knight. I think you take the knight. Yeah, do it. Do it. No, you don't take the pawn right now. You take the knight. Take the knight and then take with the bishop and then take with the queen. Even if you lose the queen, uh, the queen will take back next turn. Of course, there's two checks on yellow. No, 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 no. I don't like this move. No, that's two moves. No. Queen takes knight. Oh, wait, no. Wait, does that work? Wait, I take that back. Okay. If knight takes here, you have a check, and then you win the queen. Otherwise... I wonder if this was really thought through, though. Bishop check, and then king over, and then bishop check. Or, just rook takes queen. Yeah, if queen takes... No, the queen's pinned. Can't take. Can't take with king, either. Have to take with bishop, and then rook takes check, and... Sack your bishop or sack your knights. I think you take with the knight, because that's not a sack. That's just a direct check, and the king has to move. So, I think this is an error by blue. So now you just check, and then rook takes check. Winning the queen. Bishop check. King takes. And... What? Oh my goodness. Blocks? Yeah, that that was that was lost. Uh, queen check or bishop check, queen mate. I do like the on passant. I do like giving up the the knight on uh, d three. Blue wasn't simply developed enough, and should have played knight d eleven. I, I, I liked queen takes knight better, but maybe maybe the, the attack was successful here. Um, you're giving up a few pieces for the queen, though. Yeah, it does look strong, though. I, I, I didn't fully analyze it. There was two checks on yellow if he'd taken with the knight, not the bishop. Anyway, it is 2-1 now. And... Stop, Jerry. <laughs> Cha Cha is spamming just for Jay.
Ooh. So what do you do now? Do you go queen to c8? I think you do. Queen c8. Why did Clash go for d10? That's my question. Score one, two. <laughs> my bad. Oh. Once this pawn takes, it does expose the king, but this queen cannot take on b9 anymore. So they're looking at having and so blue is exposed with the queen, and red is partially exposed with the queen. The advantage definitely goes to red yellow though. With the extra knight. Queen takes queen no. Tom has a special development plan for for Clash. <clears throat> Don't want to move your bishop now, you have to move your knight. Either here. Oh yeah, and you have to protect against a, a check from the king. Protecting this square and shielding against this. Oh, he can check anyway. This one, and the queen has to give itself up. So it's probably going to be a 3-2 uh, game with Clash, of course, getting the third game. Uh, Red yellow may win is uh, may win five to nothing here. Uh, I like the knight out, knight out to to l nine, bishop out two. That's fine. The red yellow just have more initiative here. You have to block on b eight or move the king back. Don't think pushing there is going to solve the problem. I think you have to move the king back to a7. And then protect your pawn for your dear life. Oh no, you don't want to do that. Yeah, you got to move the king. King a7. This is why they have two minutes on their clock. Because they're actually thinking it through. All right, a uh, bishop block is probably okay too, but it seems like a little bit passive. Now you just dropped your uh, b9 pawn. Yeah, clash notices now. King a7 should have been played. Yeah, well, it doesn't. Yeah, it actually, doesn't really work out well either. So. Um, knight there? Interesting. Because if you move your bishop, then you get check and a double check. Um, no, bishop, if, if you didn't guard, if you didn't guard the double check, then you actually get away with it because bishop f3, pawn push, check, and uh, the queen's lost. Uh, this is a nice five game match here. Uh, 
What's M13? Yeah, you just hung B9. I think you have to uh, go ahead and trade it off. Yeah. You just lost the rook there. There's not really much you can do. This game is over. I mean, what are you going to do? This game is way over. Long gone. Not even quite 24 o'clock UTC yet, so. Maybe Rup Nilock and Cha Cha Real Smooth will get game 5 after all. So, I think best for Tom here. Oh, he took. He admitted there he was losing a rook anyway. No more light square bishop for yellow to attack with. Yeah. You're down two pieces. And your king is about to be exposed. Now you have to castle. You may even want to move the knight the other way. Why didn't he take on b9? He's opening the file for his rook now. Queen b10. If queen b10, you move your rook to a8. A8, not B8, or A9, because A9 you just get pinned and you lose your rook. Check. You're in big trouble now. You gotta go bishop and you gotta castle. Listen to Clash. Go bishop now. Bishop M5. Bishop m5 castle. Too slow. Queen M10, indeed. Queen M10, game over. GG, yo.
Too slow. Queen of Queen M10. Ah. A blunder and then a missed opportunity. Oh, Carlos will be later when I do so. I'm not continuing the road to Just castle already. Otherwise, you're checkmated. Oh my gosh, why? Oh, because of Queen Check. He should have just castled. Oh, what's this about? Is there even a counterattack here? They're on the verge of getting their third game, though. Do you trade? Guess he traded. You gotta put your bishop on g4 so you don't get checked. What was that? Why? Just throwing pieces away. I'd move the king there. There's no white score bishops on the board. Oh, but you lose a knight. Trading rooks to get the rook on the open file, and Yellow has two more moves to get his rook active.
Rup Nalak would actually want to, uh, go, uh, um, defend that rook with his knight, like, uh, knight to, knight to d11, or knight to h11, or just pawn push. Trading rooks here, just better to leave the tension. Castling, I kind of like it, although blue might come at you with the knight, so... Look out, here come the rooks. Now you put your king out again. <laughs> I think you put your king here. Yes. And then you take bishop, bishop, and then bishop. Or rook f4 first. Rook f4. Trade, trade, trade. Ah. Uh. Now red's got control. And the rook's under attack. You attack the knight here. And then bishop takes, knight takes, and you got the rook controlling the center of the board. The rook's on k1 is still there. So now you gotta push your pawn to attack the bishop, and there's clear counterattack here. And you can't put your bishop here without taking. Controlling the g1 square, but it won't be uh, controlled for too long. Ooh, knight here. No, we lose a knight. No oh, knight here. Oh, that was just instant move. It's very funny. Yeah, rook here. Everyone's spring moving like it's a bullet game. Green's rook is still the most active, but. It may not be enough. Rup Nalak is not a spectator, but here is what I have to say. Disrespectful not to resign here. I have my face up close to the mic, I think. Take, hit the knight. Where's Tom's king going again? I'd probably take. Yep. Traded the rooks, and now it's only blue and yellow with pieces. Would have been better to leave that rook there, though that pawn was defending. 
don't think that was very smart. The game will be much longer now. Oh, man. Look what Raphael was saying there. He's onto something when he's saying that. Oh. Reza had recently gone on a long losing streak. Still, with a rating that is over a hundred higher than all of these players at this table. But it wasn't too long ago, he was 2600. We've now reached an end game position, but with three with two extra pieces for red, yellow. Rook check, just win pawns, take pawns, and um, never mind queening for blue green. Rook check. Rook M10 check. Make it easy. Yep. There goes some of your pawns. Take, take, and you make a queen. Rook here is good too. Rook here actually. Or knight here. Check. Winning the pawn. Yeah. Pawn push. Protecting that knight. Check first was better. Check then King F six. <laughs> Clearly winning position for red blue otherwise red yellow otherwise I wouldn't say that in the admin message. There should be an article written about <laughs> Say it <laughs> They're just playing it out just in case of a stalemate Oh, he did say it. <laughs> Dang. Checking would not win here because you just lose a rook. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Why does it spend the theme statement? It's disrespectful not to resigning here. Yeah, you want to put a mating net on blue and hope he doesn't lose all of his pieces and go into stalemate. There goes the arrows by Tom. Is it too early to resign? He resigned! And it's 2-2! Two two. Cha Cha real smooth, Rook Nana, win as Red Yellow again. And Red Yellow are in the lead 4 to nothing. If Rup Nalak and Cha Cha Real Smooth take care of that fifth game, though, then they will have earned this match. Here we go. I believe this should be good, yeah. Let's do it tonight. If you, what? Did Rup Nalak seriously play C8? <laughs> They're playing the opening. I can't believe it. What? What? <laughs> oh man, I can't believe they, they chose this opening. Alright, Bishop I won? Yeah, it's my idea. Bishop I won. Bishop takes. He's going from knight to c11 and knight to e12. Knight c11, knight e12. Clash Royale disconnected, reconnected. No, knight to c11, knight e12 is the move. Rube Nalag is just messing around here. I think he admits he's lost this game. I don't know why he played this opening. What are they doing? I hate playing the blue pieces. You just down a bishop here. The knight defends all the rook's places. Why are they winning down a bishop? Don't need to move anything, just just develop. Clash says just develop. I would push the pawn too or get the light square bishop out. What's he trying to do? Keep yellow's pieces? Oh my gosh.
I don't know why they play this opening. That that's a really funny funny idea. Playing C8 in a championship game, round 3A. <laughs> oh, attacking the rook. And then pawn push on J. Oh, man, that's got to hurt. You lost your rook. Other rook. Bishop takes rook. King takes. And then what? Oh, the threat is e7. Yeah. I don't know Raphael 2528. Question is, do you know how to spell Malberry soap, good soap, and clean windows? And Valger and Ice Stun. And Resex and Raku. Predict, uh, I don't know if I want to say my predictions here, but it's a long video. Nobody's going to, nobody's going to hear it. I predict uh, Raphael 2528 and Gramu to be in fourth place. Going two and three against Reza Raku. But they're still going to prove an excellent performance in this championship. Well, I will find out later if my predictions are wrong. Meanwhile, this game is still going. Rup Nailak and Cha Cha Real Smooth are playing down a rook and another exchange here. Similar to the way uh, Clash and Tom were playing in the previous game. Better team, they're going to come through as Blue Green. They will come through. I have seen Valgar and Isistun win against an engine with Blue Green. So, no excuses yet.
It's the opposite day, I think. <laughs> All that's spoken in chat is just pure opposite day. I want to see big, strong teams with everyone's performance getting stronger, of course. And no quits from anybody. Cha Cha looks like he's in big trouble. It's defending the rook and attacking the yellow one. I think they've had bishop takes for a while. Ugh. It looked like an idiot because my laptop's not in its charger. There we go. cares about his two-player chess rating. This is the world four-player chess ch championship. And Tom and Clash, you are about to disprove the importance of your two-player chess ratings. And Clash actually I think has a good one. If I were to go optimize for streaming real quick, I can show. So if I go here, 2422 bullet. That's incredible. Yeah. Uh, 2400. Yeah. Don't forget, he has Clash as a partner. And Clash has a good normal chess rating, so. <laughs> Playing C8 on move 1 without a plan, though. Maybe you could push your pawn up to space. No, loose bishop. Ah. That's a check. Rook takes. Rook takes, I think. Just give up your rook because you're up a few pieces anyway. Yeah, bishop check. I don't know why. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think rook takes c6 is the way to go here. Rook takes c6, bishop check, or just leave that there and move a red piece. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's trapping his king, actually. Uh, yeah, rook there. Rook there. Then you take, take. Uh, if you're yellow, do you block here? No, pawn takes. I think they just lost a rook. Yeah, I think you should just take that bishop. Ooh man. Although I think I think that was maybe that was planned. Check there's two squares for the three squares for the king. 
Uh, yeah, every side down a rick is not down a rick anymore. Yep. Actually, this might this might come back to um bite if Red's not careful. Uh, yeah, work there, no. Uh, red, red might be in a bit of, uh, bit of trouble here. But I think green is in more trouble. Yellow's pieces are not developed fast enough here. Yellow needs to get maybe the knight into the game. Uh, yeah, that's one way to do it. Attacking that knight. Knight takes, hitting the rook, and you lose your rook. Oh man, is Rube Nalak going to come back from opening c8 and win this blue green? How is this going to work? What is happening here? Rook defend? King takes, rook. Knight takes, rook takes. Ooh, what is this game? Tom Merrill's going to have to get his knight somewhere. Uh, it's, it's more useful right now to push a pawn, actually. And I, I it, this may actually be a Zook Spong right here. Like, yeah, your king, all of your pieces are in the best position they can be right now. With the rook still controlling that file. Uh, otherwise, I don't really like this. If rook takes, though, actually, no, look, look at this. If a uh, knight there, rook takes, the knight check is winning the rook. It's a fork. Yeah, and the bishop is defending that. So. I take that back. I take back everything I said about the Zook Swang and the, the position. This is this is winning for red yellow. Um I think it's just I think it's just winning for red. No, you want to take the rook. Rook take knight takes rook, knight check, yeah. And now just get your rook on the open file. Three pieces for a rook and a bishop. Oh, man. I like this move. Uh, yeah. On there now. He's thinking about it. Do what he says. Cha cha, you got this. Oh my goodness. How about rook to b or rook to e4 pawn push pawn push uh king capture
Hey, yeah, Tom's got the same idea as I do. Long term, I think it's the, the way to go here. I move the bishop there, and then, oh, ho, 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 man, he sees it. Rook Nalak sees it. You lost all your knights now. Cha-Cha real smooth tricky knights are in play. Rup Nalak just needs to get his tricky knights in play. And this will be pure vomit for Clash Royale and Tom. Don't have to be careful. That green knight is about to go into play attacking the red bishop. So, what would you rather have here? Ooh. I'd move the rook. Attacking the knight, and the knight will defend the knight, so. Too strong for blue-green. This will be well-deserved for Rup Nalak and Cha-Cha Real Smooth. Oh, man. That might actually be a move here. Check. Give up the bishop. Take the rook. And, oh, man. Wait, what's with the knight there? Just red takes the knight. Check. Attacking the rook here. Pun push. If he moves the knight, he actually gets... Uh... Oh yeah, that's actually one way to do it. And that's with check too, so yeah, I like that move. Red blue are coming back. They're coming back. Red yellow. Rooks versus knights. Four knights versus two rooks. How epic can this get? You're losing a knight here. Rooks are so long range. In an end game like this, the rooks have the advantage here. I think, yeah, this is comebackable by red and yellow. I think red's winning, though. They have to reach the yellow or the red king, and those knights are far from them. And those rooks are so close to the green king. Check, check, check. I mean, it's just a lot of checks here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Um, rook to L7. Rook to L7. No! Yes! That's game over. That's game over. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Yep. GG, yo. That's, that's mate right there. Clash Royale and Tom Merrill will be... The team that advances to round 3B, ladies and gentlemen. Well played. That was actually a great game, that last one. That was well deserved by Clash Royale and Tom Merrill. 5 to 0, red, yellow, again. But it was a really close game, and uh, 
Clash and Tom almost let it slip from their hands. There we go. Rooks are indeed good, in fact, yes, to the end game they are. The knights weren't close enough to the king, so we didn't see the knights perform there. The, the blue rook happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time, and so did the blue king. Dang. So there we go. Clash Royale and Tom Merrill, congratulations. That will actually put my team overall in 11th, and Cooch Timmy and Felix will be at 12th. So, 3 to 2. That was a five game match. First one was played by Omatamix, but Omatamix had surrendered due to uh, extenuating circumstances. Uh, he allowed Cha Cha Real Smooth to take his place and. Has been action has been taken on that, and Cha Cha played games two through five. I think game one was won by Blue Green for some time, but Red Yellow came back and won it. Anyways, this will be it for this one. Thank you for watching.